guys, what's up? It's Homeboy Picasso. Thanks for joining in. And today, guys, we are looking at an awesome ROM for the Note 3. And this ROM for it, as you see here, we have screen always on. As you see there, this is the under device name, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Okay, there's the model number. And let's go to software info. And we are on Android 6.0.1. Okay, Marshmallow on Android Marshmallow, Android 6.0.1 on the Galaxy Note 3. So basically guys, this is the Dark Wolf custom ROM for the Note 3. Okay, I just downloaded a whole bunch of, what is that? Um, watch faces for the Gear S2. Um, so yeah, Dark Wolf. Let's just go and switch the theme here. Uh, this is the original theme that comes on this ROM. We're gonna go ahead and run it and let it apply. Now, I did initially, um, I did a review on the uh, Dark Lord N5 port, which was the Note 5 ported for the uh, Galaxy Note 3. And this is basically the Galaxy S7 Edge and the Galaxy uh, Note 5 in one port. It's it's beautiful, it's running awesome. Um, there is one gripe that I have with it, which I'll get to that a little bit later, but it's very awesome, guys, very awesome. One feature that I definitely love from the Note 5, which was in the Dark, uh, Dark Lord N5 port, was that you have this. When you go ahead and take, off, take out the S Pen, uh, when you have the screen off, you are able to capture a memo which is very awesome. I love that they added this in, in the, go ahead and hit save, and it's saved. And there it is, screen off memo. I love that they added this in this ROM, it's very awesome. It's, I'm actually been using this as my daily driver for about uh, four or five days so far. And like I said, I only really have one gripe with it and that's in the messages. But as you see here, we have the Note 5 uh, S Pen, uh, air command window thing here where you have action memo smart select screen right s note you can add a shortcut we have all of that goody goodness which is very very awesome yeah this is a different color s pen because uh, my sister lost the original s pen for the for this yes she was using it she lost the s pen that's right naomi i called you out on youtube anyways so in the messages when i notice that when a message I receive messages perfectly, but when I sent out messages, they don't, uh, it says failed, as you see there, as you see there, it says it's failed, but the messages do go through. So that is literally the only gripe I have with this ROM, okay? The messages do go out, okay? But, it, you know, can I move that down? Can I move that, there we go. The messages do go out, but it does say failed. And I've tested it multiple times to different parties and they do receive the messages, but it does just say that it's failed. So it's not a big issue. It's just, you know, if you do flash it and you might not even have this problem because other people have flashed it, they didn't get that problem. So I'm not sure what it is. Flashing the ROM, that's a different thing. Now it gave me a bit of problems. Okay, I'm using the, what is it now? I'm using the SMN900W8. Okay, the ROM is officially for the uh, uh, SM, SMN900N, I think it is, or something like that, because I'm using the Canadian version. Um, links uh, will be in the description to the website. Shout out to ZetoMax, uh, AKA High on Android, where I actually saw the tutorial, and the link in the description is actually gonna bring you to the website, uh, uh, um, to High on Android website, where you can, or is it Galaxy Root, Galaxy 3, uh, Galaxy Note, three root.com something like that i apologize for messing up the website but the link is down in the description um it's going to tell you how to root unlock bootloader all that type of good stuff flash rom downloads everything full instructions um and again like i said the only gripe i have with this is that the messages i receive when i send it says failed on my end but the messages do are received in a regularly timed fashion so it's not a big deal as long as you don't freak out when you see failed just check with the party, you'll see that it does go through, so perfectly fine. Um, 
So we have like all of the features except hardware features because there's no fingerprint sensor on the Note 3. So, I mean, you know, that's a shame, <laughs> but so be it. I mean, it's no problem. We have edge screen, of course. I just dropped it over here. Let's go to the home screen so you can see a little bit better. We have the edge screens and I have the uh, applications. I have the media and then I have uh, uh, contacts. I didn't even fully set that up yet, which is very awesome and of course, now we'll go ahead and jump into the settings so I can show you all the features like it's it's really awesome just being able to bring this to the note 3 it's very awesome see it's showing you about edge panels edge feeds I turned off edge lighting I turned off because we don't have the edge bars so the edge lighting doesn't really make sense there anyways but as you see here we do have all of the edge panels there's a lot to choose from and of course we literally can just jump in the download and we are able to download them we can get the oh, we can get the uh, the paid we can get the free and of course the new um, what else do we get in here we get every single thing again except hardware stuff we don't get that um, let's go to display uh, icon backgrounds icons only uh, icons with backgrounds so you can get that you can turn it on or you can turn it off it's spin off I didn't even realize that but it doesn't matter because we're gonna get to something that I really like in a second we do have again uh, where is it always on display always on display is very cool because when the so you can show an image you can show the calendar um, I always show the clock let's let's check out the calendar so uh, let's go to calendar style let's see what we have we have the time and that or we can have it like that let's go with that one let's turn it off and let's wait there you go see look at that the screen's off that's awesome the time the battery and the calendar showing the date so that's very cool i mean it's it's pretty awesome guys it's pretty cool of course see that looks a little bit disproportionate but again you can still select it wait till it comes on there you go the big time and small calendar so see that I mean again it's just a port right so there should be there should be some bugs but nothing other than this what you're seeing right now and like I said the messages and to be honest this ROM it's even improved battery life now don't say that I'm lying because I'm not <laughs> it literally improved the battery life on this device okay this battery has been horrible flash the ROM and it, it was just great, it was great. Now, let's get to the problem that I had when flashing the ROM. So the problem I had was that it would flash, like I flashed the ROM, I did everything properly, followed all the correct thing uh, instructions, and basically what happened was it would say uh, 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 the settings, unfortunately settings kept having a problem, I couldn't open the settings application. So I reset it and I flashed again, then I got something to do with water detected, moisture detected in something poured something, then I factory set it, flashed again, factory set it, flashed again, and eventually it worked. I factory set it probably about four to five times and reflashed and now it's good to go other than of course again the message situation that i told you the text message situation but it's been great after that um floating messages i don't know what that is i haven't had a chance to use it message preview pop-ups i turned that off or it was already off on default and i just didn't leave that s pen air command and all that stuff screen off memo on that's when the screen's off and you pull out the s pen you get to write on the screen and it saves it to memos it's very awesome man advanced features i'm not sure if we ever came if i ever came in here before what do we have in here we have the games okay so it does have game launcher and game tools which are off we have that i haven't used it as yet what's game launcher let's see uh, game launcher arranges all your games in one place automatically sure why not i haven't used it yet shortcut to game launcher added to the home screen awesome okay what else does it do try additional features you for playing games such as save power during games no alerts during games and game tools check out uh games among galaxy device users blah 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 okay i will check that out and then game tools why not i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on i agree confirm um, so basically you're able to record your games and stuff like that. Um, I do, I use MobiZen or MobiZen, I don't know how, whichever way you want to call it, but that's what I use. And I use that on my OnePlus, on my OnePlus One. Uh, where is it? Let me show you. Um, let's see. I use MobiZen. Let's find it. Where is it? Here we go. So this is what I use. There we go. There it is. So basically you just hit that you can record take screenshot and then you can look 
and basically you can record anything on your screen okay it is mainly for it's for games but you can record anything that was a theme that i created back in the day we're well, not back in the day but a little while back and it enables you to record your screen record video face cam all that stuff so i assume this is basically what it is as well um i didn't test that out yet so i'm not going to give any thoughts on that palm swipe to capture it does have that we just you have contact with the screen and you swipe to the left all the way and it does capture the screen matter of fact let's try and see it right now go like that i didn't do it correctly you have to stay in contact with the screen i did it once so basically you go like that oh wait am i doing the right thing you know what i'm thinking of something different i'm thinking of the the galaxy tab a um, let's actually tap to capture the screen by swiping the edge of your hand across more than half of the screen while keeping in contact with it. Okay, so it's basically the same thing. Let's try this. Oh, I'm, I'm doing that. Let's go. There we go. It captured it. Okay, so it did capture it. Okay, tap the capture more button to capture any scrollable area of the screen. Okay, so if it can scroll, you can just tap where it says capture there and it will capture below, I guess. Tap the share button to share, obviously. Tap the crop button to crop. That's pretty cool. I did not realize that. So if you say capture more, if there's more, no more content to capture. That's pretty awesome. I did not know about that. Like I said, I've had it for a couple of days, but I haven't really dug deep into it. So that's pretty easy. That's awesome. Okay. And one-handed operation. Didn't check that out either. Let's go reduce screen size. One-handed input keypad in all call button Samsung keyboard unlock pattern. Okay, um, now it's on. Did it do it? Is it trying to do it? Did it do it? Maybe that doesn't work. That might be something that, that doesn't work. Control your device easily with one hand. Hardly quick. Press the home key three times to reduce the size of the display. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so there you see. And we can switch it to left hand or to right hand. So there's something else. You see that that works as well. So we can go back. That's pretty small though. I know you guys can't really see this. So let's return to full screen. So there you have it. Even the uh, small screen one-handed side thingamabobber, even that works too. My favorite thing about the ROM, it gives you access to the theme store. Okay, we can jump in, we can find themes, we can download themes. Uh, this is my favorite place because it has a lot of always on display things. Um, let's go back to mine. I did download a few of them. Uh, the dinosaur. Uh, this one and the BMW one that I like these ones have always on display or AOD so we're gonna go ahead and let that run okay and you saw the calendar before but when switching to a theme that has AOD you, there's game launcher awesome you are able to you do get something different where is it hey 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 calendar get out of here or maybe I have to take off the calendar that might be what I have to do. Let's jump back into settings real quick. Come on. Um, what was it? Display was display. And then always on. And what to show, let's go with clock. I think that's what it was. So when you go to clock, there we go. And see for the BMW theme, it gives you that BMW. That's pretty sweet. When you have it set to clock. Obviously, if you have set it to calendar, it's not gonna show uh, what comes with the theme. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So the themes, it's it's just awesome. I really love that. Where is it? Uh, this supposed to be a theme icon theme store right there. Okay. Um, I, let me see. I'm rocking this theme right now. It's the rainbow thing. I just like it because it's a little bit dark, but I'm not a big rainbow fan. Let's put something else on. The dinosaur is cool. It's just a little too greeny green. I like this one. Let's go with this one. As you see right there, it says this theme includes the following functions and applying this theme will change the following settings, which is the always on display settings. Okay, let's go ahead and apply this one. This one looks cool because it's kind of techy, kind of sci-fi-ish, you know, or sci-fi-ish? Yeah, I guess you could say it's a little sci-fi-ish. It's a little kind of techy, so I like it. Techy sci-fi-ish, yeah, I like that. So boom, there we have it. And of course, full themed, it's just, it's just awesome. I love it. The dialer is themed. It's just what? Okay, so that's uh, that's still hmm, that might be a bug. We might have found a bug. 
okay that's why I have one-handed input okay so we'll turn that off so it goes back to normal now okay alright so that's what it was it wasn't a bug or anything like that it's just what I had enabled so so I mean that's pretty much what it is if I am missing anything that I should be covering I really do apologize but those are the things that actually stand out it's very awesome the dark wolf s7 edge ROM okay mixed in with some note 5 features there it's 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 awesome I love this ROM. I like I'm saying you know it's it, it is daily driver material I've been using this for the past couple of days and no fault whatsoever it's, it's very awesome very awesome very very awesome like my sister got the s7 edge i was thinking about getting it and it's like you know yeah it's just a rom on this i don't have the hardware features but i i, I don't need it i have the features i don't have the fingerprint scanner but who cares <laughs> this is good enough for me man that's awesome like i feel really really good just having this you know what i mean and uh yeah so definitely i think my next big buy is definitely going to be the uh, uh the uh, samsung galaxy note 6 I think that's going to be my next big buy. Possibly the iPhone 7 beside it. Um, but yeah, that's for another whole nother video, guys. So this is, again, the Dark Wolf S7 Edge ROM. Okay, with a little bit of Note 5-ish uh, features in there as well. And uh, yeah, of course, all links are going to be in the description below. It's going to lead you to the website with all the details. Any other things that I uh, need to put in there as well, I will have the links down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel, guys. And shout out to Zito Max. Shout out to the creators of Dark Wolf, uh, of the ROMs. It's, it's awesome. Of course, if you can, donate to these guys. They put a lot of time into it. And it's awesome. As you see here, the finished product. The finished product, it's incredible. I love it. Daily driver, worth it. Yeah, the Note 3 is back. It's back. Um, hopefully there is an update for it and they're able to fix that messaging problem. Maybe it's just the, the model of the device that I'm using. Maybe the others don't have that problem. Um, but it's not even a big issue to me anyways because I have my Gear S2. Um, and yes, my Gear S2, if I can get a little bit of focus here. Let's turn that off the screen protect not screen protector as you see right there that little chip that's not the phone that's not the watch face guys don't worry that's a temper glass don't know how i chipped it there but hey that's what temper glass is for right um but anyways yeah again hope you enjoyed if you did leave a thumbs up really appreciate it guys i'm your humble picasso i'll see you in the next one peace